Morning guys, it's Joanne. Um, I have some exciting news to share. I did just recently become a Stampin' Up! independent demonstrator. Um, and I did sign up under my and your friend, Deb. Um, and I just wanted to come on real quick and show you what I got in my starter kit. And the reason I think it, you know, makes sense, even um, just as paper crafters like we are, um, to take advantage of this opportunity. Um, the way I see it, it's a it's a win-win. You know, if you have $100 to spend, then that's all you have to do. And I just want to show you guys everything that you get. So you get to pick out $125 in Stampin' Up! merchandise. Anything you want um, that's valued at um, $125. So looking at my kit now, I don't know that I picked everything that I should have gotten to get everything up and going, but there were some items um, that I bought that I really wanted and needed. So, all right, let's just get to it, okay? Um, all right, so what I'm showing you now is the products that uh, equaled the 125. Uh, we'll start here. I haven't even opened this stuff yet. No, all right, so this is this Big Shot dye brush, and I needed this. I mean, I have a couple dyes, and I'm hoping that it works the way I think it does. A couple of dyes that, you know, when you cut them out, there's a bazillion holes in there, and instead of taking your little, you know, your little pokey thing and poking everything out, this brush is supposed to take the place of that. So it comes with two pads. Oops, now it's gonna stick back together. And, come on. Okay, and then here's the brush. So I imagine you would roll it over the dye in here and it would help pop out all those all those things it's pretty coarse bristles nothing that'll really hurt you but it's a hard it's a hard plastic it's not metal I almost thought it was metal I think some of them maybe are okay and I don't have all the uh, item numbers and that available to me right this second but if there's anything you see that you're interested in and you just want to make a purchase um, you know, just message me, send me an email, and I will definitely help you out with that. Okay, I also got, I guess I'll show you the little things first. I got this package. These are sponge daubers. And I've been doing some projects lately with um, the ink pads, and I, could, I only had one of these. And once you, I don't know, once you get the color on it, I couldn't find a way to to get rid of it so maybe this way I can work them with my <coughs> excuse me my ink pads and I can just you know designate one for for each one so that comes with five five sponge daubers all right we'll put those there I kind of want you guys to see how much stuff we get all right these are I think these are they work with the inks as well and you spray them. I probably should have opened all this stuff up before. So you get two of these, they are called Stampin' Spritzers. So I'm gonna say you fill them up with water and then once you, you know, use your ink, you can spray it, let's make sure they spray. You can spray it and then it gives it more of a water, watercolor effect. Okay, so there's two of those. Let's see. All right, and then I also got these bags. These are three by six gusseted cellophane bags. And I'm not really sure why I got these. I was thinking that they'd be a perfect size for um, the parts that I'm making. But they would even be good for um, little goodie bags for, um, you know, stamping up events and that. Okay, so there are, how many are in here? Uh, 25. 25 baggies. And then 
I also got this. This is called the Embossing Buddy. And I've seen this used on some videos. Uh, and Oh, I guess there's powder in there. Oop. Okay, that's good. That makes sense. Um, so when you're doing your heat embossing, um, I think what you do is you just you wipe down what you're doing. And then it helps it, I guess it keeps it from sticking, like getting it all over the paper. And maybe concentrates just on your what you're actually embossing. So we'll try that. And guys, I look forward to doing videos on all these items too, to just kind of, you know, learn together and see what they do. All right. And then I bought this. Now, I know that you can buy this other places. This is the Winka Stella, Winka Stella uh, glitter pen. And I have a couple of these pens and I really like them, but I only have the, the silver. And it comes out really nice, and I was trying to find the glitter one, and I had a hard time finding it for a reasonable price. Uh, so this will just add a little bit of glitter, um, more detailed to your to your projects. And I think I have to figure out how to open this because the last the other one I bought that's the silver I can't figure out how to open it. There's some kind of stopper in there. Uh, but this one comes with directions, so that's really good. So maybe I'll be able to use my other one as well. Okay. And then we bought some Dazzling Diamonds Stampin' Glitter. And I just, I love glitter, first of all. But more than just glitter, I love white iridescent glitter. If you guys can see how pretty that is. And I figure with um, wintertime coming and our winter projects... This would be perfect uh, to add a little snow to our projects. So that's Dazzling Diamonds Stampin' Glitter. And it's a 0 .8 ounce, 0 .8 ounce bottle. Put that there. And another thing I was excited about, because I always have an issue with my glue. And um, actually, I'm going to tell you a quick story. Hang on one second. Which relates back to... When I very first um, heard about Stampin' Up, it's probably about three, maybe four years ago. Um, I was just watching some crafty YouTube videos. I wasn't doing videos of my own yet and didn't even have the thought to do that. And I came across um, a girl uh, on YouTube, Brandy's Cards, and Brandy sold Stampin' Up. And watching her do her cards, she would use the... Tombow this this glue and from that video I went and bought this and I love this glue so I've been I think Stampin' Up does does sell this um, but now Brandy I believe has like two million dollars in sales and she's way way up there um, she's still on YouTube and I believe her YouTube channel is called Brandy's Cards so <clears throat> good for Brandy and I'm glad you know she gave me well, it's taken me four years, but at that time I was going to try and join under her. But then I'm like, oh, well, she's so far away and how does this even work? And, you know, I guess I just researched it a little bit more and realized that that doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter where your upline is located. They're just there as a uh, resource to help you. Okay, so the next thing I got, it's called, it's the Fine Tip Glue Pen. And open it it's got this really pointy intricate you know for intricate placement so it doesn't get all over and it's their glue so I'm curious to to see how this works oh look wait oh look at that it comes can you see it it comes with a little like pin stuck to the inside so that when you close it up oh my god guys I'm not gonna be able to see this maybe I should wait because it's not open so I guess when you close it, you stick that into the, yeah, see? Oh, and then it keeps it from getting clogged. What a great idea. People are just so smart. So I look forward to using this glue. Okay. Let's see what else we got. Okay. I did get some ribbon. Um, I got this jute band. We'll open it real fast to see just what it's like. Uh, I, f 
finally found my scissors and now I can't use them. Okay. Um, it's just called um, Jute Band. Oh, that's a different. <laughs> that might be French or something. It's burlap ribbon, guys. Okay, so it just looks like this. I don't know if it's wired. I don't think so. No, I don't think there's any wire in it, but that's okay. Because we have our awesome glue now to work that out. So we have that ribbon. And then I saw, what did I do with the other one? This ribbon I thought was pretty neat. Um, it's called Leaf Ribbon. And you get five yards, and on the burlap, you are also getting five yards, approximately, it says. Okay, so let's cut this one. I think this one's pretty neat. And this one will, again, work great with the holidays coming up. And if you guys can see, it's just ribbon and it's leaves. So I think there's so much potential for this. You can turn it up, turn it into a little like a wreath maybe, or use individual pieces on the flowers. So that should be fun to use. Guys, I can't wait to get in here and make something for you guys so you can just see how great these products are. Well, I guess it could be the maker too and not, oops, sorry. Okay, um, now I also got, I got some papers and I didn't go crazy on the paper because I do have a lot of paper that, um, I should probably use up. Uh, I guess in the beginning, my videos are not going to be able to be, you know, complete Stampin' Up! product videos. But I'll be, you know, I'll use as much as I can. And I do have a whole laundry list of more, more things that I want. So this paper here is called Wood Textures 6x6. And you get 48, 48 pieces. This is part of their uh, designer paper. And... I don't know if we can see. Let me go like this. See the different, and they're double sided. If we go like that, we can see some of them. All the wood grain. And there's a reason behind this, which I will get to at the end of this video. But see all this cool country paper? I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, so I believe there's 12 different designs and two a piece or let's see. Oh no, wait, we're getting four a piece. Okay. So 12, four different types. All right. And then see on the other side, there's, um, let's see. so you have both sides of the paper. So that's pretty pretty good and I'm thinking with cards and the projects that I do I don't necessarily always need 12 by 12 packs of paper okay so put that there can you still see my little pile growing um, and then I got this pack of paper which is called quilted Christmas um, and if you ever hear uh, you know the anything referred to as a DSP that's they're talking about the paper, designer series papers. So this one, Quilted Christmas, let's see, the same thing, you get 48, 48 pieces. And I am gonna have to try to figure out which, I think each one has a name and I wanna make sure I keep them together in their, in their sets. Um, okay, so here's some of the Christmas papers. And again, these are double-sided. And they don't come in pads, guys. They come just individual. So you don't even have to worry about them ripping off when you use them. But these are some really nice um, Christmas patterns for the, for the holidays. And then we can show you this side too. Pretty much all your reds and greens, the plaid. those over here. So that's two six by six packs of paper that I pick. And then, <clears throat> all right, 
So then we have, this is a Sizzix um, embossing folder. And this one is called, uh, it's got to have a name somewhere, Pinewood Planks Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder. So let's take this out and see. Now, wouldn't this go great with those wood pieces of paper? Oh, this is a pretty, wow, this is like the sturdiest uh, embossing folder I've ever had. Um, and it is made by Sizzix, so it works with the Big Shot. Um, I'm sure it would work with most, most uh, embossing machines. Okay, so we have that, and to go with that, this is the stamp set that I bought. It's called Barn Door, and as you can see, it's got the barn door, it's got different wreaths, um, a hello plaque, and then it says, I'm so happy to know you, may your troubles be less and your blessings be more, and nothing but happiness come through your door. So it has a different, um, even has the, the stamp for the, I guess that's maybe for the door handle. Now I'm upset because I did not buy the framelit pack that goes with this. And if you guys look up any of these tutorials on this barn door, it's awesome. Um, it slides it. So that has to be in my next order most definitely. And I'm so upset that I didn't, didn't think about that and do that. Um, so okay so you get that stamp and these are these are rubber stamps let's see what's this it comes with this sheet of i don't know if it's stickers or i'm not sure but i'll figure that out and then all the stamps they're rubber you just need to put them on your on your stamping block Oop. which i do have a couple of Probably have to invest in a few more of those. Okay, so we have that die set. Now the only thing, I believe the only thing that I bought on clearance, um, the burlap ribbon might have been on clearance, I don't remember. But I did buy this punch, and this is the, it's a border punch, candle border punch. And if you guys can see it, oops, sorry. It's uh, birthday candles. I guess you could even use them as Christmas candles too. So we'll have to try that out. So we got that big punch. Okay. All right. So guys, all these items um, that I picked, total of $125, I paid $99 for. Um, I did pay tax and they'll charge you the tax for your state. Um, shipping was free. Okay. So anything else I'm about to show you was um, a perk for, for, well, this, all right, I guess we'll go here with the paper pumpkin first. Every starter kit comes with a paper pumpkin. Now this is Stampin' Up! subscription um, box. So you can sign up and each month you uh, receive this in the mail. And if that's all you want, just, you know, it gives you enough supplies. I did open it because I took some pictures of it last night. Uh... But I'll just kind of show you what it comes with here. All right, so you get enough product to make nine of these cards. You get the envelopes, you get the the cards, you get the you know the piece that, to layer the cards. You get a mini ink pad, and this one's called Garden Green. You get the little twine for the cards. You get the dimensions. You get the glue dots. You get a stamp, uh, stamps to go with the card. Uh, now, I did not receive a block, but when you sign up as a subscription with the Paper Pumpkin, your first order, they will send you a um, uh, the clear block to put your stamps on. 
Uh, and actually, I did sign up. This one came with the kit. This is from February of 2018. It's called Wild Flower Wishes. Um, in your startup kit, they will, you know, send you one, and it might not necessarily be the current one, which is okay. Um, it came, comes with the embellishments. Little, um, uh, they look almost like little enamel dots, but they're they're white. Oops. And then, like I said, it comes with all the pieces that you need. So we have the envelopes, and look how pretty they are. They already come. It's got the layering pieces of cardstock. It's got all the different um, embellishments for the top. It's got a sheet of vellum. And and then it has your your labels and guy you can do anything with these you can make it into the cards that's that the instructions give you or you can you know repurpose it in other projects and I'm thinking you'll always you know you'll have extra of the the dimensionals and you know you you'll wind up with your own little collection of these ink pads. So that's a perk in itself. Um, that box goes for $20 a month. Um, free shipping, but I believe you do pay tax on it. Uh, you can do one month at a time. You can do, you can prepay for several months in advance and you can cancel at any time. They usually mail that out the middle of the month. So currently um, they are running a program that if you sign up for the paper pumpkin by August 10th, you will receive your first box half off um, with a code that I can, with a promo code that I can give you. And you just sign up under me. And again, you're under no obligation past that nine, ten dollars uh, plus tax after that. So you know it doesn't hurt to try some of this stuff out. And if you don't like it, you know you're done with it. But I'm hoping that you know we're really gonna love it. Okay. So the perk for joining in July was you get. A 10 pack of their full size ink pads. Okay, so, and you can pick from whatever color collection, whatever color collection you want. Um, again, I can't bring the catalog out right now because I'm trying to make this video before work. But you get 10 of the stamp pads. Now, these go for $7.50 a piece. So, this is an additional $75 worth of product that I didn't pay for. Okay, so here's all your stamp pads. So let's see. And I went with the neutrals. So you got basic gray, early espresso, crumb cake, gray granite, Mary Merlot, Night of Navy, Sahara Sand, Smoky Slate, Soft Suede, and Mossy Meadow. Okay, which I love all these colors, but I do think I want to get one of the other collections that has a little bit more of um, basic colors to it. Okay, so guys, this is what I got for $99. In addition to that, of course, you get, you know, your startup pack. And I already have to send somebody out a catalog, so I'm going to work with this, and she might want to be a demonstrator, so we'll get her all the paperwork that she needs. Um, comes with cards if you want to do a party and it's a pretty decent amount to get yourself started um, here's probably begin stamping begin crafting your future with stampin up today so this is probably you know something to get other people on board and then of course it comes with I believe it's an eight pack of the catalog. Now, guys, look at this catalog. It's so thick. All right, this is the current catalog. This will go till June of next year. Okay, so if anyone's interested, uh, let me know. There's so many beautiful things in there. I haven't even had a chance to look through the whole thing. Um, so that's the deal. This is what you get for signing up. Again, you're under no obligation after that. I could not sell another thing right now and that would be fine. Um, and joining in July, it gives me till December to make, uh, December I believe, to actually January, because they'll give you an extra 30 days if you don't make it, um, to make my mark of $300. And anything I buy, 
as a demonstrator, you get a percentage off. So another another perk, even if you just want to use it for your own, you know, for your own supplies for the next six months and see how you do, then, you know, that's an easy way to start. You don't have to jump right into it. So um, with that being said, they did release, Stampin' Up! just released their holiday catalog. All right, I don't have my official one in the mail yet, but I was able to print it out online. All I can show you right now is the cover. Um, this will be available to order from in September. So, um, uh, what was I just gonna say? All right, available to order from in September. Uh, oh guys, I don't remember, but anyway, it's, Craft uh, Stampin' Up's 30 year anniversary. They've been around for 30 years now, so that's that's pretty good. And I think it just seems to be getting bigger and bigger. Uh, I still don't remember what I wanted to say, but so, anywho, this is <laughs> the holiday catalog. Oh, it does cover. Um, it's not just Christmas. It's um, Halloween, Thanksgiving, fall. You know, like your whole second half of the year could be covered in this in this catalog. So as soon as this becomes, well, as soon as I'm allowed to show you guys, um, you know, we'll be showing you some things on that video, on um, another video, okay? So please guys, um, if you have any thoughts, um, if you're already a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you have, you know, ideas for a newbie like me, just leave me a comment below or my email is in my about section. And um, I hope this turns out to be a great venture for me. Um, and you know maybe for you guys maybe i can uh even if you just want to be customers and and order the product you can i can give you my website you can access the catalog online and then just you know you can order through me all right so guys have a great day and i will be back soon with more videos